Hello and welcome back to Women's Football Talk, the YouTube channel that brings you all the latest news and stories from around the world of women's football. And before we get into today's video, make sure you smash that subscribe button and turn on the post notification bell so you never miss a video of ours. So today we're going to be looking at some of the deals that have already happened this July as we are now in the full swing of things for the summer transfer window. So we're starting off with Paris Saint-Germain who announced the signing of Mary Earps on a two year deal. Now Earps was a free agent after her contract with Manchester United ended on Sunday the 30th of June and then the day after on the 1st of July, Paris Saint-Germain announced the signing of the English goalkeeper Obviously, big move for Erbs. Uh, it's been reported that she's now the best paid goalkeeper in women's football. Uh, so, big congratulations to Erbs for that. And in terms of Paris Saint Germain, it brings another high level quality player to the team as they try and compete with uh, Lyon for the French title. Uh, for Manchester United, in that aspect, it's obviously a big loss. Erbs has been at the club since they were refounded back in 2018 so they've got a big hole to fill obviously they've got uh, two keepers there in Fallon Tullish Joyce and Safia Middleton Patel so uh, Mark Skinner side will be able to work around that but uh, for them at the minute they will have to do obviously uh, without Mary Epps who has moved over to France and joined PSG. Arsenal have announced the signing of Mariana Caldente the Spanish midfielder joins after 10 years at Barcelona again she also left uh, the club so it was a free move for Arsenal as always with every transfer um, you will never hear about the contract length of a player's deal so um, I can't tell you how long it was because uh, it wasn't reported by Arsenal or any uh, journalist a uh, big sign for Arsenal obviously they lost Victoria Pulova to an ACL injury uh, earlier on this summer um, it's going to be an interesting fit to see how she fits in alongside the likes of Kim Little, Leah Volti, Frida Leonard and Mornham. Uh, it gives them a lot more options uh, and I'm really intrigued to see how she does settle in to uh, life in England. Obviously she's got that Spanish connection with Leia Cadena, um, the centre-back who joined last summer. So um, that should help her settle in a bit more easier than if she was coming in uh, as the sole Spanish player at the club. Um, but she's a proven winner. She knows how to win, obviously winning a lot of trophies at Barcelona most recently when, as they won the quadruple. Um, so it's a really good signing for Arsenal and shows their intention to get amongst the top two and potentially win the WSL title. However, going back to Manchester United, they did announce an incoming sign in this past week already in uh, Dutch defender Dominic Janssen. Uh, this is a deal that runs until June 2027. Um, she joins after leaving VFL Wolfsburg in Germany. Now, uh, obviously, Arsenal fans will remember Dominic Janssen from her time in the WSL when she was with them. Uh, then she left to go over to Wolfsburg and now she's back in the WSL with Manchester United. Strong signing. Um, the defender who can also play in a bit of a defensive midfield role um, should give that versatility, versatility options to uh, Mark Skinner. Um, obviously, winner with the Netherlands at Euro 2017, uh, won titles with Arsenal, with Wolfsburg. So it brings that winning mentality to uh, Manchester United, which obviously on the back of their success last season in the Women's FA Cup, they'll be looking to continue to build on going forward. Another signing in the WSL which is a bit of big news was Olivia Smith joining Liverpool from uh, Sporting Club de Portugal. It is a club record fee I believe to be around £250,000 uh, for the young Canadian teenager who's seen as a really high prodigy. A lot of clubs were reportedly looking at her but it's Matt Beard side who have managed to sign uh, Smith to a long-term contract and one player who I've seen some clips of uh, online, she looks really promising and one I'm excited to see develop in the WSL over the coming years and I think she will fit in really nicely at Liverpool because they've got such a good squad and um, uh, how Matt Beard did last season obviously didn't go uh, unrecognised as he won the WSL manager of the season um, so it'd be really good to see how Smith can fit into uh, that Liverpool side this forthcoming season and then another final big transfer that has happened over the past couple of days so far was Real Madrid announced the signing of Melanie Leopold from Chelsea now it is a really good uh, move for Real Madrid obviously they're looking to bridge that gap to Barcelona over in Liga F the two sides obviously being the biggest sides in Spanish women's football and um, Real Madrid 
haven't been able to break the duck yet and get close to Barcelona. As we know, and over the years, Barcelona have had that fantastic record a against Real Madrid and in uh, dominating league F, but bringing in a player of Leopold's quality, we know what she did over the past four seasons at Chelsea, stepped up some big minutes and the former German midfielder is going to bring uh, that solidity to the Real Madrid team and bring a lot of uh, confidence to them and again some other deals that Real Madrid have already completed they brought in Philippa Agando who was at Manchester City and they brought in former Levante forward Alba Redondo as well who's a player I'm really high on um, such a good striker always up in the conversation for the Golden Boot race over in uh, Liga F and I think she's definitely going to be that much better signing for Real Madrid going forward so that's just a couple of the signings that have happened so far uh, this summer, we're obviously we're only on the 4th of July as time of recording. Any other deals that happen, make sure you are checking out our um, article on Substack. We update it daily with all the transfer deals across women's football that are happening. That's womensfootballtalk.substack.com and any of the other deals we will get announced over on our social media sites of Instagram and Twitter slash X. Just search uh, WF Talks on Twitter and Women's Football Talk, all one word, over on Instagram for all the latest news and stories there. Uh, player contracts, new signings, and everything else. You'll find them both on those two pages. In the meantime, uh, make sure you like and subscribe on this channel so you never miss a video of ours. Turn on the post notifications as well. And let me know in the comments what has been your signing of the summer so far. In the meantime, we'll see you soon.